For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Monday, November 28th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. A Jamaica resident has been hospitalized following a weekend crash. Vermont State Police say 52-year-old Duke Bean was involved with a two-vehicle crash Saturday afternoon on Route 30 in Newfane. An investigation found that Bean allegedly showed signs of impairment. Bean was transported to Grace Cottage Hospital for injuries and was later airlifted to Albany Medical Center. He was issued a criminal citation for suspicion of driving under the influence and is scheduled to appear at Vermont Superior Court, Wyndham Criminal Division in February. A Bronx, New York man has been jailed on bank fraud charges. The Wyndham County Sheriff's Office's 51-year-old Ronald Freeman II allegedly tried to get money from TD Bank branches in Bellows Falls and Putney. Friday afternoon, it was learned a man tried to use someone else's driver's license in an attempt to defraud the customer and bank of U.S. currency. Freeman was ordered held on $25,000 bail with arraignment scheduled later today. Three Lebanon, New Hampshire residents have been charged with drug trafficking. The Wyndham County Sheriff's Office says a car was stopped on Route 5 in Westminster on November 20th. During the course of the stop, probable cause was developed regarding a drug investigation. A consent search of the vehicle and occupants was conducted. Approximately 145 glassine bags of suspected fentanyl were located in total and over two and a half grams of cocaine was located as well. 34-year-old Seth Allen Scaplin, 46-year-old Robert Tobin, and 37-year-old Samantha Lewis were all arrested, processed, and released on citation to appear at a later date. Senator Bernie Sanders is calling the attention of Vermonters to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Anyone, anywhere in the country can now get free, confidential help that is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, simply by dialing or texting 988. When people call, text, or chat 988, they are connected to trained counselors who provide support and resources. Friends and family members who may be concerned about their loved ones are also welcome to call. Interpretation services are available in more than 150 languages. WTSA Sports, Jalen Brown scored 36 points to help lead the Celtics past the Washington Wizards on Sunday, 130 to 121. Boston hosts Charlotte tonight. Tip-off is at 7.30. And the Bruins don't return to the ice until tomorrow night when they host Tampa Bay with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this November 28th, a Monday, take care of yourself and everyone else around you. My name is Ian Kelly.